Welcome to the video. I'm going to start a video series called Welding Electrode Series, where I teach how to read the welding electrodes of some of the most common welding processes in the industry. First in the pipeline is the SMAO electrodes, or the Shielded Metal Arc Welding. By the way, tune in up to the end of the video as I'm going to give out a free Udemy course regarding the welding inspector and welding safety practices, which is a part of the fundamentals of the CWI exam. If you want to become a certified welding inspector, then that course is for you. With that, let's dive right in. SMAW or stick welding, as it is commonly known, operates by heating the metal with an electric arc with a consumable electrode. Speaking of a consumable electrode, let's now take a look at how to read a stick welding electrode. The first two digits are the strength of the electrode in KSI. The rule of thumb here is that the strength has to match the base metal as we do not want a weld metal to be weaker than the base metal. The third digit is the position of the weld. Some electrodes are not suitable for all position depending upon its characteristics. More of that later. The last digit will be, as I have just mentioned, the coating or operating characteristics of the electrode. Let's take a deeper look at this last digit. This table is from AWS or the American Welding Society. This tabulation provides information regarding the characteristics and operation of the electrode. As you can see here, some of the electrodes operate in DC, AC, or both. Remember that in SMAW, DCET heats up the base metal more. That is why, as you can observe here, that the penetration of, for DCEP current is either deep or medium. Let's also look into the covering of the electrodes as designated in the last digit. Cellulose. This is in the form of wood flower processed to low alloy electrodes. They tend to produce deep penetration. This is used for a variety of industry applications and a wide range of carbon steel and sometimes low alloy steels. When rutile content is in the electrode, it will have a quiet arc an easily controlled slag, and low level of spatter. This is best suited for sheet metal where you do not have to worry about the electrode burning through the metal. Iron oxide produces a de well deposit with large amount of slag. If the iron powder has a larger percentage, then the well deposition will be much higher as well, and also the amount of slag it produces. For the last three electrodes as well, the 50% iron powder, as you can see, is only best suited for flat position, the number 2 in the third digit of the electrode, because of the amount of iron powder. Imagine if the welder is welding below a pipe with this kind of electrode. It will be unsafe and unproductive as well. Low hydrogen electrodes, the one that ends with 5, 6, and 8, ensure weld of radiographic quality, reduces the risk of porosity, but one downside is that these electrodes need to be maintained in the oven. So, for example, this electrode E7018 has 70 KSI strength suited for all position and has low hydrogen. Let's take a look at the most common SMAW electrodes in the industry. E6010 are for widespread industry application because of its deep penetration. E6012 and 13 are the most common and the easiest to use because of its easily removable slag. These electrodes are used by hobbyists and beginner welders alike. The low hydrogen electrodes, as we have talked about, reduces the risk of porosity. Normally, these electrodes are maintained in a shorter arc length to prevent porosity and operates at a higher current. It also has a variation in E7028, but for a higher deposition rates, thus can only be done in a flat position. E7024 has high deposition rates suited for thicker metals, 
but because of this, it's only suited for a higher, for a flat position. There you have it. That is how to read an SMAW welding electrode. I will provide the PDF format of the presentation below so you can download it as an easy reference in the description below. If you want to know more about welding inspection and pass the CWI exam, I have a free welding introductory course for the fundamentals part of the CWI exam just for the people who watch this video. It's in the description below. Just click it and it will take you to the course. Note that it is only valid for 14 days up until the posting of this video. So enroll now. It's free and it's yours for a lifetime. So if you haven't already, please comment down below if you have any questions. While you're at it, be sure to like this video so I know that people like this type of content. It motivates me to do more of these. Subscribe to the channel as well for more. See you on the next one.